We've looked at uh, using the Pythagorean theorem to find missing, missing measures of the sides of a right triangle. Uh, and that leads us to something called Pythagorean triples. And these are a set of three real numbers such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the, the right, the ratios then would become, for instance, like three, four, five as an example of these sides. And there are some common Pythagorean triples. And one, of course, is the one that I just mentioned, which is three, four, five. And of course, five would be the hypotenuse. And any multiple of that would fit that Pythagorean triple. In other words, you see here six, eight, ten. Well, if I multiply two times three, four, five, I get six, eight, ten. And if I, and conversely, let's say, let's look at nine, twelve, fifteen. Well, those are all divisible by three. And if I divided all three of those by three, what would I get? I'd get three, four, five. Nine divided by three is three. 12 divided by three is four. 15 divided by three is five. And so the common Pythagorean triples are three, four, five, five, 12, 13, eight, five, 17, and seven, 24, 25. And we can use those to find the missing measure of the side of a right triangle. Now, quite honestly, I gotta be honest with you, to me, I'd just soon use Pythagorean theorem, uh, just like this one that we would be looking at here. If I set that up in the Pythagorean theorem, I'd have 48 squared plus 20 squared equals C squared because X is the hypotenuse, and that's it assumes the value of C. But let's just work through this and see how this works. So I'm looking here at 48 and 20. And 48 and 20 are both divisible by four. And so if I divide 48 by four, then I get 12. And if I divide 20 by four, well, that equals five. And then I can see here that this fits a Pythagorean triple of five, 12, and this is a right angle. And so it would fit this Pythagorean triple of 5, 12, 13. Now to find this me measure of X using Pythagorean triples, I just simply multiply 13 times four. And 13 times four then is 52. Uh, yeah, two times 13 is 26 times two is yeah, 52. 52. And so that's an example of using a Pythagorean triple to find the measure of a missing side. And again, for me, I'd probably just soon use Pythagorean theorem to solve it, but this is a show that lets you deal with a little bit smaller numbers if they happen to fit one of these common Pythagorean triples. But of course, they don't all fit that. But since we're here, let's look at one more and see what we come up with. So I got my common Pythagorean triples up here. And I got here is 14, and this is 50. We're trying to find the measure of X. 50 is the hypotenuse. Uh, let's see, so 50 and 14. Well, they're both divisible by two. So if I have 50 over two, that equals 25. And if I've got 14 divided by two, that equals seven. So I'm looking for, oh, well, here's a seven, 24, and 25. And so there I could use this Pythagorean triple. Here's the seven, here's the 25. So X must fit into that 24 because it's a right triangle. And I can then just say that 24 times two is gonna give me the value of X, which is 48. All right, well, there we go. There's an example of Pythagorean triples. And so that might be something to memorize. Three, four, five is easy. Five, 12, 13 works well. And then we got eight, 15, 17, seven, 24, 25. These are the most common. I find a common multiple. 
And then I can apply it based upon which side of this right triangle we're dealing with. Pythagorean triples.